All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm doing an update for my planned pan from 2023 into 2024 slash, I guess just whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, I was hoping to do this at the beginning of the year, but then randomly I took like a three or four month break from YouTube. Um, not on purpose. I think I just, I just got really, really busy and thought I had like missed a month of updates when it had actually been like three or four months, which is crazy. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to be talking about what I was hoping to pan last year and what I am panning and then what I'm hoping to pan for 2024. Um, some of these are, I think a little far-fetched just knowing like how I pan stuff, but yeah, let's, um, let's get into this. So from 2023, from my plan to pan video, which you can watch it, we'll link it somewhere. Um, but I hit basically almost all of my goals in some capacity. Like for instance, I had two eyeshadows that I had this, um, eyeshadow called Carnival from Inspire, Inspire. Um, and I was hoping to get it in a project at some point. And then I have this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's technically a, a highlighter, but it's too dark for me and it's called Might Be. So both of these I wanted to like incorporate in a project pan somehow. I haven't done that. However, um, just cause like I've moved through my project pan so slowly. However, I've incorporated them in my looks. So I'm using these quite often. In fact, this is exciting. I have a pan in this one that I've used it so much, which is very exciting. And then this one has, I mean, I, I use it every day, but there's like hardly any like, type of progress going on, but I mean, maybe a small dip, but I use this more actually than, than this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm really proud of myself <laughs> that I've been able to do that. Um, yeah, it's just very, very cool. I use this as like a topper whenever I'm using my project 100 um, Project 100 Uses Pan That Palette that I have right now. Um, so yeah, I'm incorporating that with this and then I'm incorporating this with my Pan That Palette look that I'm currently panning right now. I'm kind of topping it off with this. So I have, like I said, I'm excited because like, even if I haven't like put it into a project yet, these products, um, I'm still getting use on it and like that's pretty cool. So now let's talk about what I'm currently project panning. Okay, where do I start? Okay, so first of all, I have these two. These two are my Pan That Palette, Pan Those Palettes. Um, this is my IBY Beauty Pan That Palette. I have one shade left in here, this one. So that'll be definitely done by the end of the year, um, but still loving it, still working on it. There's that one. The next one is my Too Paste Chocolate Bonbons Palette. This is where we're at right now. Still working on it, still loving it. It's gonna be here into 2024 hopefully, or it is 2024, into 2025, um, hopefully not 2026, but I wouldn't put it past me, honestly, on that one. Um, and then what else am I panning? I'm panning some other eyeshadows. Like right now I have the Tartlet and Flume that is in my Project 20 uses at this point. I'm on use number three as of today. Um, so that's fun. And then I have my Boxy Charm and Blink Electric Eyes palette. And this is in my pan and everything. I'm trying to hit pan in every single shade. I have pan in these two shades, working on this one and this one, and then we will be working on that last one right there. And then I have the Real Her I Feel Beautiful 3 palette. And this is was in my pan and everything and is now in my project or my 100 uses project pan. So I'm trying to get after I've hit pan in every shade of this. I've now been trying to use it a hundred times after that. And after that, I think I will roll it into a pan that palette because there's not a hundred, a ton, a ton left in this project product, which is great. I still have like 40 something uses, I think in this. Um, so, you know, there's still some progress to be made in that project 100 uses into then into the project pan that palette. There's so many P words so much alliteration. <laughs> so those are all the eyeshadows that I'm currently panning. Oh, and then I have this also, this little MAC, I believe it's a MAC pigment, um, I think called Chanting. Um, I'm still, I'm using this. I'm trying to incorporate it in most, if not all looks, uh, but there's a lot of product in here, even though this is so small. So still working on this. I, I think this will also 
definitely be into 2025. Um, again, hopefully, fingers crossed, not into 2026, but we'll see. And then I have this, um, this is my MAC pigment. I put it into this container. It's a little easier to grab, um, but it is called Sun Pepper. I had this in 20 uses and I completed it. I want to incorporate it again in some way, somehow. Maybe I just like randomly will do an, a look in it. I don't really know. I don't know if it'll be Project Pan or what, or if it'll be kind of like how I'm using these where I just like add it. But this is something I do want to continue to work on because I love it so, so much. It's such a beautiful color. And yeah, it's just kind of a weird product to have in a Project Pan of sorts because it's hard to see progress on until there's actual like progress where it's almost gone and I have this container that I filled up and then there's still the rest of the container the original container that has a ton a ton of product in it so yeah and I do want to like use my pigments I've tried a project pigment in the past and like filmed it and like did an intro and then it fell by the wayside because it's just really hard to stick to and again see progress on anything um I know I can press it but I don't want to press these honestly because I've also heard once you for some people when they've pressed these products they end up getting moldy so i just don't want to like mess with that i'm kind of just using it as its original form um but there's that um another eyeshadow that i think that i want to incorporate in some way some fashion <clears throat> is i have this little like i think it's the z palette yeah z palette by loxy charm and i have a bunch of like eyeshadows in here some of them do have pan, like this one has pan because I was using it, um, I believe, with an one of the, with this, the I Feel Beautiful palette. Um, I would like to continue to get progress on it, if not finish it up. Um, there's also this teeny tiny like sample eyeshadow. I think it was from I think it was from the bomb from like an Ipsy thing. Um, I would love to use that up. Same with this cream shade. This obviously has pan on it. Would love to see some progress on it. But I don't know how I will incorporate any of these or when. Um, I, I don't really have a plan for this, but I still have this. This is still kind of like my utility, uh, like pan or my utility palette of singles. So I would like to use some of these at, in some point, at some point, hopefully put something in a project pan or just use it up in a natural way. I don't know. And then next for eyeshadows. I do have two palettes that I do kind of want to like touch on throughout the year in some capacity. I don't really know what capacity, but um, yeah, the first one is going to be the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Mainly, this is a massive palette. This is definitely my my biggest palette. Um, it's, it's huge. So, and I've hardly touched it. Maybe I put this in a 20 uses project pan. I don't really know. Or... I don't know, maybe do I do I do like a level up, pro I don't know, I'm not a level up project pan because I think those rules are different, but, um, and I don't really want to add another project because I hardly, like, I move through stuff so slowly, but, um, yeah, I want to incorporate this in some capacity because um, it's just so big and I would like to start getting some sort of progress in this in, in some, some way. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next is... I use this in a project, in my 20 uses project pan from, it's the unzip palette from Lorac. And I love this. I loved the pinks and all of it. It was so beautiful and the formula was great. And I want to use it all the time. <laughs> I want to use it. I want this to be like a pan that palette soon or something, or I don't know. Like, I just want to use it like all the time. Um, so yeah, maybe this will be like my next pan and everything where I hit, you know, a shade, a pan in every single shade of this um, and kind of use it like how I use the I Feel Beautiful palette where, you know, do the pan and everything, get another hundred uses and then slowly put this into a pan that palette because yeah, this is one that I know it's getting older and it's so beautiful and I love like the color story so so much that I just it would be such a waste for it to like just sit there because it's one of my favorites and I don't want to like I don't know I don't want to waste it I don't want to like touch it because it's so beautiful and it's so special to me for some reason but I need to use it so 
yeah, um, I want to incorporate this in, in some capacity. Okay, so those are all the eyeshadows, I think. Um, next, we'll talk about my eyeliner. I'm currently um, panning the Hyacinth eyeliner from MAC, and this is my last eyeliner, so I want to get this used up. I do think I can get it done, hopefully by October, because that's when I take my inventory. That would be so lovely. And then I would have no more eyeliners in my collection. That would be amazing. Um, okay, so we will talk about blush. Right now I'm panning this color wheel from Tarte, and right now I have the color icon that I'm panning. Um, the next blush will be one of these. And I don't know which one. I reserve the right to step away from this if I want this color wheel and pan another blush but I do think I will want to pan one of these. Um, also right now, my highlighter that I'm project panning is this Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. All of this, look at that. Um, and I think that this will definitely be done by October. So my next highlighter that I would want to pan would be one of these two highlighters, oh, this one or this one, um, not really sure. But yeah, because obviously, if I'm trying to use this whole thing up, Got the highlighters got to go too. So I also have some cream highlighters that I'm currently project panning. And I have one in Ethereal um, from Laura Geller. And this is like flushed out. That's as high as it goes. And so right now I'm just kind of digging in and trying to get some product out that way. But this one is basically almost gone. And then the next one will be this Laura Geller Illuminating Stick in Diamond Dust. And this one... Um, I've project panned this one before and then my mom had this and gave it to me because she didn't want it. So yeah, this will be my second time project panning this. And yeah, I really love it, but this will be my last of the Laura Geller Illuminating Sticks. So that'll be great. Okay, and then my bronzers right now, the only bronzer I'm panning is this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium. So still working on this and yeah, no pan or anything in it. The next one I want to pan is the like sister product to it, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Project uh, Bronzer in Medium Dark. So I think Medium Dark, yeah, or Medium Deep. deep. So yeah, this will be the next one. Uh, and I lied. So I do have another eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow stick from Laura Mercier and it's an amethyst. And I would love to incorporate this somehow cause it is like a cream eyeshadow product. I don't want it, it was like a little sample like birthday gift thing from Savory, I believe. Um, or maybe it was just a sample, one of the two. But yeah, I would love to incorporate this in some capacity, which I think that I could incorporate it kind of like smudging out like as like eyeliner type sort of stuff. So maybe after Hyacinth is used up, I can kind of like, yeah, use it as like a liner-ish type thing. Um, and then for lipsticks, I have my MAC lipstick in Honey Love that I'm trying to use up. It is pretty close to being done. It'll be done, I think, by the end of the summer. So there's that one. And then the next one, um, the next one up that I want to use is called Enticing, and it is from the Tarte Lippy Lingerie. This is a huge, like, chubby stick crayon thing. So we'll see how long. I haven't ever tried to pan this type of product, so we'll see how long that takes. But yeah. And then for lip gloss, I have this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lip gloss. I don't know the color. Um, I think the sticker fell off of it. Um, but this one, it's pretty close. So the next one up would be this Laura Geller Color Lip Color Luster Lip Gloss. And it, it is it is in Honey Caramel. So yeah, this one would be next. Uh, I, I'm not going to get through both of these. So this one will definitely be going in through the rest of the year after that. Um, lastly, we have lip liners. I feel like my energy's died, so sorry about that. But my last is lip liners. I have ColourPop. This one is in Skimpy. This is the one I'm currently working on. Um, definitely think that this will be done by October. And then we have the ColourPop lip liner in Bound, and it's a little bit pinker, which I think will pair nicely with the lip lingerie. So, yeah, those are all the products that I'm hoping to get to. By at some point throughout 2024, um, definitely into 2025. And also for these, I mean, I'm still incorporating them. We'll see how far we get. Um, maybe they'll be snuck into a project if, I don't know, 
I don't know, maybe they'll get snuck into your project at some point, I'm not really sure. But right now I'm happy just like incorporating them with how I'm incorporating them. So we will see on these ones, but that's really exciting that I freaking pan on this just from using it like with, you know, this other, these other products that I'm trying to use up. It's so cool. I, I love it. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a good day. Let me know what you're planning to pan. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope you all are having a good day.